guys, welcome to another episode of Behind the Call. I am Herita Asante and I am your host for today. Today in the studios with me, I have an amazing woman of God who I'll be introducing after this few appreciation. First of all, I want to say a very big thank you to the CEO of Topman Multimedia and also to my crew for all these amazing things they do for us. And also to our viewers. Guys, you guys have been so amazing and we are grateful for your followers and your views and all. Keep on subscribing, keep on liking and keep on commenting. Now, as I said earlier in the studios with me i have an amazing person and you would love to know her she is in the person of celestine donko hello minister hello <laughs> i'm so excited to meet you today i'm i'm, so I'm, I'm very honored to have you i know you're a very busy person yes. but taking some time off to grant us this interview i feel so excited um, so and your viewers i know are so excited too yeah. i wouldn't want to waste much of our time because i know you have other stuff to do so let's just go right into today's purposes so for today's purpose we are going to break it into three we're going to do music then a little bit of lifestyle then back to music since it's music that has brought you this far so let's get right into music we are in 2020. Mm -hmm. Should we be expecting any new, you know, Gagantua album? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, so thank you, first of all. Um, I appreciate this opportunity. Um, yes, a lot is in store for 2020. Okay. Um, I expect three big things wow. in terms of singles. Okay. Yes. Um, I expect a uh, very huge collab outside Ghana. Wow. And of course, Celestia Praise 2020 yeah. is yeah. happening in Kumasi, in home, and also in the US. Wow. Yes. So, a lot is in store. Wow. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't wait <laughs> to see all these things happening. Yeah. And I'll be there at every program that you'll be organizing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Minister, mm -hmm. I know you've been in the system for a very long time. Yeah and you started with a lot of people mm -hmm. some who are still in the game mm -hmm. and some who are obviously nowhere to be found mm -hmm. so i just want to find out how have you been able to maintain yourself since you started from then till now how did you do it and you are still relevant in the music industry as of now <laughs> um to be honest with you the, the first first of all the credit goes to god wow um, it's not by our mind, it's sure. not by power, not by uh, the virtue that we sing mm -hmm. or we can write. Yeah. Because the truth is, we meet people who can really sing. And you go like, wow. And you can meet very good writers mm -hmm. as well. So it's just a grace of God. But what we have done, myself and my team have done consistently, is to maintain focus. Wow. The focus of our music is to impact. Mm -hmm. And always get something for the church to five on in terms of music sure so that has been our consistent focus and because that is our focus we are getting the results so we are content to what we are getting sure sure, yes, sure. If the result is money like we have yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 i so get it yeah there, there are many things as a person as celestine don't call mm -hmm. i can do in life to succeed i believe that so much yeah but this is what the lord has put in our hands mm -hmm. and this is what i believe that god wants me to do so exactly that exactly wow mm. wow that, that is, is the focus the that is keeping us that that is amazing <laughs> yes <laughs> that that is amazing mm. you you've come a long way mm -hmm. but you are really still relevant in the industry we mm -hmm. can't talk about gospel artists and leave celestine don't call out of it it's not it's not possible now we have people who started they were writing songs as yourself mm -hmm. some hits mm -hmm. the first song and mm, we can't find them anywhere. Was there any time in your life where you felt like, okay, this song that this thing I'm doing, I'm not really seeing anything. So, well, I, I've had this song hit. I've had mm. that song hit. Charlie, let me forget and do something else. Was there <laughs> ever a time like that? Not at all. To wow. be honest with you, like I said earlier, if you listen carefully, I was mm. like, the focus of my music sure. is to impact, mm -hmm. um, to inspire. Yeah. And also to always get something that will revive the church. Sure. And those results, I'm seeing them. Wow. So my wow. focus is not really to get a hit, mm -hmm. you know, 
if a hit comes along, praise Jesus. Amen. Uh -huh. And if an award comes along, glory to God. Sure. But the real focus is to impact lives. Uh, the essence of music is for somebody in a downtime to get something to pray with. Mm -hmm. For somebody in a high time to get them to celebrate with. Of course. And for all seasons, uh, this is what I have been thinking about. Okay. And for those results, I see them all around me. That's I hear true. testimonies from my song. I see choirs doing the song, and it's, it brings me so much joy. Wow. So for me, the fulfillment, I'm getting it. It is not just to plan to make a hit, otherwise yeah. you'll be disappointed. You'll be disappointed, it exactly. A lot to have a hit song. Wow. And so, yeah. Wow. Wow. God is wow. giving us the results we are looking for. Wow, I'm, I'm motivated right now. Mm. I'm so motivated. So now let's come to our second part, which is about a little bit about your personal life. I believe a lot of my viewers would want to know who Celestine is outside the, 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 music. the music. Yeah, so who is Celestine? Okay, my name, my full name is actually Celestine Mousy. Wow. Donko. Yes. The Donko mousy. is my husband's name. Okay. The mousy is to register that I'm 100% there with him. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah, so and, and a very proud one, as yeah, such, trust uh, me. Of course. And um, I am a seven born of a family of 12. Interesting. Yes. Um, I am married. In fact, I've been married for 14 years. Wow. I have four children. Wow. And aside music i am very passionate about uh, women's ministry and women empowerment okay so i have um, a women's group called the chosen ladies of faith okay. and where women are empowered to unleash their god-given potentials to be on top of issues of their life and also i have this mentoring platform for up-and-coming singers we call them the uh, m2m singers fellowship okay so that's a little bit of background of aside the music um i think you should know about mm. me i attend icgc okay um i'm a full member of icgc not half member. Oh, wow <laughs> yes wow. so basically wow. that is me at what age did you start music um as far as i remember i remember my first standing on stage to sing at the age of nine wow i was still in the uh, sunday school church of pentecost and you know, Church of Pentecost, they give us the children opportunity to have children's week. Mm -hmm. and, you know, say, so it was one of those children's week that I had the opportunity to sing. And children, these children, we got parents at their their auditorium is full, mm -hmm. and every child is in the whole the church auditorium for the first time. Yeah, because sure. We are usually in our children's class and mm -hmm. all that. So that was the first time I remember that I pick up my to sing before people. Wow. The experience, trust me, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I feel a bit broken hearted mm. that you were once in Pentecost mm. and now you're a proud ICG. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> actually, I think <laughs> after this, we have some fights to, you know, because. <laughs> no, no, no <laughs> in the, the sense of God, we are one people. Sure, sure. I actually, it's, it's life and how God orders our steps. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually plan to leave Pentecost, but um, I left to school okay and then at school is outside Accra mm -hmm. and I had to look for a church around to attend of course and then after that I had I, I married them I went to be to this church okay you understand okay <laughs> so it's not like so my <laughs> parents are very very grounded members of Church of Pentecost okay presiding elders all my siblings are well rooted in the church. So wow. The wow. blood is in my body. I know, right? Like, <laughs> because sometimes I can feel the oja, the the oja, oja behind yeah. the song, you know? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I'm surprised when you said you had four children. Yeah. I'm just wondering, how did she do it? Like, <laughs> maintaining this body with four kids, like, how did she do it? Well, I've, I've been, I was born a plus size. I grew up a plus size. I've always been a, in a plus size body. So, <laughs> consciousness of Trying to be in shape has always been part of my life. Yeah. So I may not have gotten the the the, the, the shrink part yet. Okay. But being conscious of trying not to over gain mm -hmm. uh, has been part of my life. Uh, 
So I do a lot. I do exercise. I do green teas. I do everything that will just keep me, you know, maintaining. Yeah. If I see I'm too much, I try to die to come back. So it has been back and forth like that. Wow, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. I think you can also do it because I'll start. I heard I'm going fat, so I'll start <laughs> following. Where's the fat? I know that. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so back to music. Mm. Your song Agbe Bolo. I don't want to make oh, a mistake. To try it. I'll give you ton -ton. <laughs> <laughs> that song has been a hit, mm. and it has been one of the songs that is going far. Mm. Okay. I just want to know mm. what was the motivation behind that? Is it a personal life story, or what motivated that song? To be honest with you, this song is is it, it, it came out of my soul, you know. But I was a bless the Lord with all with bless the Lord, oh my soul, yeah. you know that oh my soul mm -hmm. thing really was there when I was writing this song. Wow! It was a moment where I just sat down and went back into my life to actually count the goodness of the Lord, and I realized that I had a lot to be thankful for. Sure. Yeah, so at that moment, I, the lyrics just started flowing. I never knew you favor me this way. You've turned my life around. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so this song was coming from the depth of me. And at the time I was writing the song, my focus was not really to produce a hit, mm -hmm. but to actually express that gratitude from my soul to the yeah. Lord. Yeah. yeah. So... The first day we were rehearsing the song, usually when I write song, I go ahead to rehearse with my team and then we start singing, even okay. without releasing it. Okay. Yeah. So my first rehearsal session with my team, I remember very well, we were doing it at Resurrection Plan Living Bread Ministries at Gansom at my father's house. Okay. So when we were rehearsing the song, a man walked into the, the auditorium. It was just me and my band. Okay. My band. He walked into the auditorium and then he said, I want to bless you with this seed. I took it, I was 50 Ghana seeds. Wow. He said, the song you are rehearsing, it has just touched me. Wow. So I was just passing by and I felt like, let me just sow a seed into your life for this Powerful. powerful song. I recorded the song two years after. Really? Yes, two years after that encounter. Wow. That I had sang it at church, people in my church, I see this next Destiny Temple. They, they know I've sang it to my church and was people loved it. Mm -hmm. And for me that is fulfillment. Yeah. And yeah. then finally we decided to record it and then break it out. So when I look at how far the Lord has brought the song is is it's a joy to me. Yeah. Um my greatest moment last year was when I was singing this song in Kenya. Wow. And Kenyans were singing along. Mm. Also in Togo, Togolese were singing along. That's fulfilling. It's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. So I thank God for how far. Wow, this is inspiring. This teaches me that whatever you do in your closet, mm -hmm. even as far as is in your closet, if God's hands is in it, mm -hmm. it will definitely touch someone's life exactly. and change it. Exactly. This is so inspiring. So on this note, kindly bless me and bless my viewers with this song. Mm -hmm. Just five minutes of it. Five minutes? <laughs> That's but I want you to, <laughs> I want, I want you to fast. finish everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. I never knew you favor me this way. You turn my life around. I when I woke, I never imagined bringing me this far. You turn my life around. My voice there, every you do. Glory, I turn my life around. I turn my Minister just disgraced me. <laughs> eh, please pardon me. Eh. Wow, this, that is, is a powerful yeah, song. I'm and it's, it's actually relates to everyone's life. Yeah. Was looking at where we were mm -hmm. and seeing where we are now, mm -hmm. obviously. I, I, I realize that people, when we don't see new testimonies mm -hmm. and new 
miracles, yeah. and new answers to our prayers. Mm -hmm. We forget that we have we have we have had victories in the past. Sure. But the Bible says that we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Sure. sure. And so I believe that as you play this song and you look back five years ago, ten years ago, doing fifteen years ago, back of your life, and look at where you are now. There will be something you would be grateful for. Exactly. Even sometimes the challenges you went through exactly. has built you up and has made you a better person. Exactly. And giving you a better version of your own self. Exactly. And so there's always something to be thankful for. Exactly. And I thank exactly. God that this song provokes the spirit of thanksgiving in the hearts of people. There's always something to be thankful mm -hmm. for. Now, Minister, I know your husband is your manager. Yeah, he is. And I've been thinking, mm -hmm. how are they doing it? Mm -hmm. How are they not blending business and mm -hmm. marriage? Because mm -hmm. personally, I don't know if I can do it, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> and I, I actually, whenever, when the first day I learned that mm -hmm. as your husband, I was like, wow, mm -hmm. how have they made it this far? <laughs> how did you do it? Well, it's, 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 it's just by grace again. Okay. Um, trust me, when I married, when we married, my husband has nothing to do with music. Wow. Nothing. He's just a businessman. And I was busy singing, featuring, backing people here and there. Mm -hmm. And at a point, he felt like um, you are being used, yeah. you know, you feature up on people. Sometimes they give you nothing, mm -hmm. and the song becomes a hit. And all these producers you are working with, they are not even think of, thinking of helping you yourself exactly. to become a brand of your own. So he, he got provoked, he got angry, and was like, look, I don't know anything about music, but I think we can start from somewhere wow. and see if we can develop a brand, a local brand for you. Wow. So okay. it took me... I thought about it for some time before I agreed to him because Obviously. he doesn't know anything about uh -huh. it and I didn't want him to dump money into something he didn't know much about because at the end of the day in marriage when you are the cause for the money to finish you know right it can also <laughs> you know bring other things all uh -huh. the things were on my mind but I we 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 we, we gave it a shot wow. and he was a complete novice wow he didn't know even where what studio does like mm -hmm. trust me nothing <laughs> but we put our heads together the little experience i had i advised let's do this let's do that he also invested his money his time most importantly he really dedicated his time to go exactly. around and make sure your cities get played wow. he actually worked hard he had to fight people for that sometimes he has to be insulted for that huh. just that he wanted his wife's song to get out there wow and he he availed himself and for that and today a lot of those we called pro at mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. call him today to consult on how we are doing it wow how we are making it Wow. So everything about music it has been God. Yeah. And yeah. if I told you that he's some professional who just knows much about music and came, I'm lying. Wow. But the Lord has taught us little by little and we've been patient with time. We're not in a hurry at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in God's own time, he has been faithful. Wow. Uh, our efforts, our sacrifices, at a point we lost money. Mm -hmm. But they have all not been been in vain. Exactly. To God. Exactly. For that. So if you are hoping ha. to start with a novice <laughs> <laughs> like I did, then may God give you the grace. Amen. <laughs> Please, if you are in my shoes, I, I hope you've listened, though, because yeah. we are going all the way. <laughs> Wow, wow, that's that's amazing. Yeah, that's I think when God gives you a partner, mm -hmm. obviously he puts your desire in him and exactly. his desire in you yeah. as well. Yeah. So it will definitely work out for it your good. That's 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 amazing. So minister, we know VGMA is coming up mm -hmm. and I was so excited to see that you have won a lot of nominees. You have been nominated, I think, five, five or so years. And I'm excited. So I'm just wondering how you are feeling about <laughs> hey, it. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful mm -hmm. to God. Um, I mean, <laughs> it, is, it is a great joy. For mm -hmm. me, I begin by saying that the nominations are already wins because wow. 
the kind of people mm -hmm. that are part of the VGMA board mm -hmm. to make certain decisions. They are no joke. They are people mm -hmm. who know a lot about the industry. Yeah. So for them to decide that, hey, Celestine and Agbabolo deserves to be here, it's, it's a great honor. Sure. It's a great joy to sure. me. So I'm so, so, so grateful. I'm overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate the five nominations I, I have received. And the most exciting of them all, even if I don't win, I'm so content with is the is to find a gospel song among the best video. Yeah, yeah, it's, that it's is so true. Fulf it, it gives me so much joy, trust me, because that, is that particular true. category, mm -hmm. no gospel artists have been there in a while, for yeah. a while now. Exactly. And I'm the only, Agwebolo is the only, only nomination that came from the gospel side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Found myself among nine secular artists. Wow. A gospel song. Wow. This it's, is a miracle. It is a big one. <laughs> a so, big one. So, like I said, even if I don't win the best gospel video, finding myself in that category is a win for me. Uh, it's so actually going to be. I don't know how to express my joy, but I'm so grateful. Wow. Mm. Wow. wow. But is it that you weren't expecting mm. to be nominated mm. or you were expectant but then you are surprised that it happened? Um, I was expecting, in fact I was expecting more actually. Okay. Today, uh, earlier today I was making a comment about why we didn't make it for collabs, and mm -hmm. I had uh, reasonable explanations okay. for that which I'm so content with. Um, why? Because when we look at the year under review, which is 2019, mm -hmm. I think the song Agbagolo really stood tall. It did. It is, it is so, uh, so, so noticeable to be known. Exactly. And, and not only in Ghana, but beyond Ghana. Yes. Yeah, I mean, people call me from all over the world. Um, people come from countries I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's amazing. And so, uh, because we worked hard and we invested a lot of time and resources into this, uh, we were expecting that these things we have invested will yield results. Exactly. So it's a mixed feeling of fulfillment and also the joy of uh, some of the surprise uh, nominations we got, yeah. like the best video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, but in a nutshell, we are going for a win, right? Oh yes, at least one or two be there. Yeah. God give me three, praise the Lord, hello. <laughs> <laughs> at least one or two be there. But you know, VGMS can really pull surprises. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people can see glaring like that you deserve something. Mm -hmm. But there are rules that goes into you getting it. The vote. I cannot just pick money and start voting for myself. Exactly. I will not get fulfilled when I get the award. Yeah. And I will not use money to go and buy it. It's not fulfilling. But when true fans, true lovers of Agbabolo, I call them Agbabolo family, mm -hmm. they believe that we have to win and then they vote and I pick that award. What a joy that would be. That is what I'm looking forward to. So again, I'm appealing that people should vote. Just vote, vote, vote. And let's make sure that the votes are leading to wins. That's what we are looking for. But hey, watch me. Mm -hmm. If we don't get any award in this video, it's the service. The local music still stands and thrives. It will still be a blessing. That is the bottom line. <laughs> you hear? Vote, 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 <laughs> vote. So I am Herita Sante, and I'm still here with Minister Celestine Jonko on Behind the Call. Celestine, I know there are a lot of people who are aspiring to be like you, more than you or anything. What advice do you have for upcoming ministers? Mm. I, I would say that be, 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 truly, be truly focused on God. Be truly focused on your, your life, your life and your relationship with God and be truly focused on what God has given you and what he wants you to do with it. Because when you seek God first in all genuineness, every other thing you are praying for, you are hoping and you are mad, will come along. And to conclude, your gifts, your talents will take you far. Yeah. But your attitude can bring you down. Exactly. Yeah, so attitude is first in all we do. 
Wow. Let the word of God reflect in your life and let your attitude speak for you. When your attitude is right, mm -hmm. God can raise people to defend you even at places you are not. Yeah, exactly. When people are discussing you somewhere and they are bad mouthing you because somebody knows you, mm -hmm. they will defend you and even put yourself in the Sabbath at their mouth. So keep the right attitude and keep the focus relationship with God. That is my advice. Wow. Wow. Kindly put your social media handles out there mm. for anyone who would love to follow okay, you. Okay, follow me. Me, I like to be followed, so please follow. <laughs> follow me on the Celestine Donko Music on Instagram and then um, same Celestine Donko Music on Facebook. Uh, Twitter is Gospel Soldier. Gospel, normal spelling of gospel, but the soldier is S O J A. Um, that's Twitter. And then YouTube. A celestial TV. So when you subscribe and you know click on the notification button to receive prompt on every update I make on on YouTube. And trust me, you be part of the family. And send me messages when you go on my Instagram, you see my contact. Send me WhatsApp and let's get chatting. Thank you very much. We Thank appreciate you. you coming, Thank and you. we love to see more of you Thank as you. the days go. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So it has been an amazing one with Minister Celestine Donko. I have learned a lot and I hope you've learned a lot as well. Now this is Behind the Call and I am Herita Santa, the Gospel Promoters. Now if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do so ASAP so as to be notified whenever we update our channel. You can follow us on all our social media handles on at Gospel Official and also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Gospel TV. I am Herita Santa once again. And God be with you.